Hey guys, this is Getsumara, and welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Sonata. In the last episode, well, I did a little bit of a leveling off screen, I gained like two or three levels. We're all 19 now, and Chopin uh, learned Mirage Blow. It's pretty good, it lowers the attack by 10. Will be handy for this upcoming uh, boss we got coming up, but also cutscenes. And we also braved the Glissandro Cliffs, or which wasn't that bad actually, it was pretty easy. So let's go in here, now that Phil's alive and safe. So yeah. What the hell, he's alive! Hey! Thanks for helping me back there. Mom didn't find out. I really owe you one. Give me a hundred gold or I'll tell. Koto told me you guys are looking for a place to stay for the night. Since you guys saved my life, you can stay here no charge. On the house! Oh nice, a little boy telling us we can stay in his inn. That still does not sound right. It's like, how the hell can you make that call? But whatever, you know, full heal. Got to stay the night, and now it's morning, so pretty good. <clears throat> Ugh, freaking face is so dry. I have such dry skin. It's right by my eyes, so it's hard to keep them open. I hate it. Yeah, I'll probably go put some lotion in that on him later. This is a weird pillar. Yes, it is. So yeah, now that we're uh, free in that, um, well, I think I might have missed the, something in the shop I need to buy. Hey, come back here, come back here, Phil, come back here. Hey, buddy, thanks for helping me out back there. Am I hurt? Nah, I'm fine. I survived living with my mother. Falling out of a cliff is no sweat. You know what? I want to go meet her. Actually, she sounds terrifying. Like incredibly scary. Maybe it's a boss. Is that her? That's oh, a guy. When I was young, I always dreamed of running an inn. We were finally able to build this place right around the time Phil came along. That's nice. Hello. Come on in. No, Hunter Gold, screw you. I'll talk to you. Oh, I guess I can't. Fine, screw you. We can also explore the inn right now. I think there's an item in there, but... Meh. I got what I, I, got what I wanted. I'm not looking... I'm not looking to get all the score pieces in that, because, well, I can't get them all, so I don't want to put in enough effort to get most. So, let's go talk to King Forte, or Count Forte, Waltz, whatever. Ugh. I see the whole group has arrived. Oh, they were expecting us. That's good. Hey, he looks like someone in authority around here. You're right, he does. Let's go ask him if he can get us an audience with Count Waltz. <laughs> He's jumping. You can't fly, beat. You'll never see through we that crowd. Know all about your plan. Let's keep this very simple. Don't resist us, and none of you will get hurt. Now just hold on. Something doesn't appear to be quite right with this situation. He's talking to you guys, and apparently he wants to arrest us. Hey, mister. We came here because we want to see whoever's in charge of this castle. Oh, you'll see him all right from your cell. What? Hey, hey! Don't hit beat. What the hell? That's child abuse. Hey, Mister, what do you think you're doing? Let's have a little fun. So apparently, this fat ass with no eyes is a boss. Let's kick his ass for beat. Just stand still. And he also hits extremely hard. So block his attacks at all costs. Bring it on. And he's extremely slow, so it compensates. Hey yeah. yeah, you know with Redo and um Chopin attack normally. Move Eel as far back as you can and make her attack. Oh wait. Uh lowest attack. Make her as far back as you can and sit there and attack. Oh I missed, damn. Oh well. Ah. Oh crap. No, no shit. See look at that. And Chopin's dead. Bam, dead. Teach you. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, gotta keep them alive at all cost. Because his, <laughs> his attack is still extremely high, even though I loaded some. All right, so now let's just sit here and shoot him all day and night. Hey, don't guard it. Ugh. Oh, how, how can I never? Oh, crap. Ugh. How can I never guard that one? How the hell did he. Oh, god damn it. 
Well, looks like I gotta res him. That hit hard, but freaking Chopin's dead. God. I fought him so easily the first time, but I can't block him for his shit. Why can I never guard that? Ugh. This is not gonna turn out good. What? Why can I never guard that? Ah, it's killing me. God damn it! All right, need two heal arrows. I'm alive. Sorry, this fight could have actually been over by now if I would have did it right. But nope. Oh well, his back's not facing Viola, so this is gonna turn out actually pretty good. Oh yeah, I shouldn't be trying to break his guard. This is a very, very bad idea. I never guard that. Ugh. Now I'm gonna shoot you in the face till you die. See, look at this. 4,000, 4,000, 4,000. Just chipping away at him. Oh. Sweet. And this is gonna work out perfectly. Because now I can do a 32 Echo Sun Slash. What? I broke your guard. I broke your freaking guard. Screw you. Ow. Beto's dead. Oh, pretty close. Hey! Why didn't that heal Reto? What the fuck? Well, now he's dead. Or not. Thank God. God damn it. I did this so well. Oh, I hate this guy. He's uh. almost dead, though, so. Oh, crap. Oh, he healed himself. Not gonna matter, because you're gonna die soon. Sorry, just trying to pump out a heal arrow to keep them alive. Oh, crap, it also raises an attack. I forgot about that. Uh, uh, uh. Lower it. Oh, he's dead. There is no way yes! We killed him. Sorry, I'm a little excited because, well, he hits extremely hard. If you notice, when I don't guard, Allegretto and Frederick died. So, yeah. No one gets a level up, but still really good, so yeah. I guess I underestimated them. You there, throw them into the dungeon. If we beat you, how the hell are you gonna throw us in jail? Oh, that's how. Cut it out! What are you doing? Trapped a mile of prison cell. Do 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 do. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Do 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 do. Hey, who's this little girl? Just who do you think you're calling a little girl, huh, old lady? Oh snap! Old lady, why you little? No, no, don't fight. Oh, what's this? Just who do you think you are, you little runt? Can't you see I'm busy talking to this old lady right now? Well, someone's got a mouth. R runt? Hey, I'm almost the exact same height as you. You called me old lady again. You're gonna pay for that. <laughs> Please, you three. Let's all just settle down. Oh no, Polka's mad. Unfortunately. I must admit I'm rather at a loss as to what to do next. No problem, that's an easy one. We'll just have to break out of here. Huh. It's one crazy after another with you people. If it was that easy to get out, they wouldn't call it a dungeon. Sure they would. Hey, your name is Salsa, isn't it? We saw your sister, and she told us to give this to you. Ooh, thanks a bunch. <laughs> I just never feel quite myself if I don't have this. A southerner with a pirate hat. Oh boy. So then, that spells trouble. Met March? My sister can be so unfriendly and rude sometimes. I hope she didn't say anything that might have upset you. No, but you did. 
You're lucky this is a prison cell or I'd kill you. <laughs> no kidding. By the way, how the heck did you people know that I was salsa anyway? You look exactly like Marge. Well, uh, all we had to do was take one look at you. Wait, I've got it. You're a magician. That's how you knew who I was. Yeah, we can perform magic tricks. How and exciting! A can make himself disappear. So you're going to disappear and then reappear outside the cell walls, right? No. Well, well, disappearing isn't the only thing magicians can do, you know. The same way they can break out of handcuffs, they can unlock things like cell doors. Of course! I forgot about that part. So you are a magician. I guess we'll just go along with it. But at least you're way smarter than that old lady over there. Hey, thanks, Beat. Well, someone's quite the convict and uh, homebreaker in her. I'm impressed. You really seem like you know what you're doing. Sadly. Well, uh, well, you know, I am a magician after all. I get it, Reto. You just don't want Polka to know what it is you really do, right? Oh, snap. Well, you don't have to worry about me spilling the beans. My lips are still tight as a clam. <laughs> I think we can all imagine what kinds of things you were up to in Retardando. Don't worry about it. Tight as a clam, is that so? Hmm. Why don't you just tell everyone that we steal bread, God? I don't think I've ever seen a clam that had its shell completely closed. Come on, let's hurry and get out of here already! So, yeah, we are free. And, well... There's a lot of retardedness in that cutscene that didn't not really need to be retarded, but it was. Because apparently everyone's dumb or something. Anyways, what's this? Oh, the guard left his post. This almost makes him forget thrown in the dungeon. We get Club Clover, yay. So let's leave. Wait a minute, we're inside Forte Castle. We'll wind up back in the dungeon if we just walk out the front door. Well, obviously that's going to happen, so yeah. We're here in Forte Castle. In the dungeon, because we suck. And oh, look. Oh, this part's funny. Wait, hold on a minute. What is it, Salsa? We need to keep moving. Hey, just come here a second. Huh? Well, what is it? Now stand right there. Aha! See? I knew it! Just like I said before, I am taller than you. Ha ha! What are you talking about? You're only taller because you have a hat on. That's not fair. Come on, we gotta hurry. <laughs> oh god, I love that. This isn't the first time it's gonna happen to. It gets so much oh, funnier geez. later on. Somebody's not as tall as you thought he was. Even though he is taller without the hat, but yeah. Uh, I think there's a guy over here we can play score with. I am the world's greatest burglar. Slur! From the jewels of the gods to the devil's own treasure chest, there's nothing I can't pillar. Or pilfer. Or so I thought, apparently my luck ran out sneaking into this place. I was caught before I knew it. Punishment in Forte is known to be nasty, and now I'll never get out of here. You wouldn't happen to have a score piece, would you? If it came out nice, I'll give you something real good. Well, we do, but, um, we're kind of out of time, so yeah, next time on Let's Play Eternal Sonata, we will try to escape from this hellhole. If we can, because, well, it's prison, and escaping from prison is not that easy. So, yeah. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.